G'day guys, just leaving Croydon, had another day off yesterday, which was a bit cheeky, but legs feel good, ass feels better, I met some friends, some cyclist friends, who are probably a bit ahead of me, I think they left half, they, well they wanted to leave at half seven, it's about eight o'clock now, hopefully we'll see them later on today, just picked up some bananas, some other stuff from the most expensive shop in the world. So yeah, let's get moving. I'm pumped, I'm pumped. Banana break one. Banana break two. Done about 57 Ks, another seven to go. Just hopped under this fence onto this property. There's this awesome little dam here. And there was about 15 or 20 wedgetail eagles all just flying about. It's pretty cool. There's uh, loads of these little shells around as well. Must have been when uh, ocean levels were higher and, and this was all underwater, which is really cool. Really, really cool. <laughs> Bed for the night sorted. So we're 60 Ks down. The other two guys are just a little bit behind me. They'll be here in a sec. Uh, six k's down, another th just under 30, maybe 29, 28 to go to get to Normanton, uh, which is a stop for the night. It's the biggest town we would have come across, so I'm hoping to pick up a few bits and bobs. Uh, apparently there's a good food work shop there, hopefully it won't be too expensive. I cooked uh, this up yesterday, it looks really unappetizing. But, a bit of bread, some honey, I got two bananas and an orange as well. Uh, and then, yeah, that should get me all the way to Normanton. Not bad. I lost my spoon as well. I reckon I've left it somewhere on my break. A few days back. But, because it's bamboo, it'll decompose. Mission accomplished. Hey guys, hope you're well. Yesterday we got into town, um, popped into, there's a purple pub here. Uh, had a few beers there and then had some dinner there as well. Had a bit of a forced rest day. I've been stressing a lot about uh, some chain loop for my bike. If I was more organized, I knew I had to buy some in Atherton, which was day three of the ride. I knew I had to buy some and I completely forgot. So been trying to figure that out. We're coming into dirt roads tomorrow now as well. And I also needed to figure out some water. So I picked up a 10 litre jerry can, which will sit on the back of the bike. And then I've also got uh, these sort of big, uh, typical sort of water bottles here. And in total I can carry now about 17 litres, which should be close to three days. Uh, recently I've been using about seven liters a day, five on the ride, and then two, um, you know, the rest of the day, and then also the next morning. So I picked up food as well. So it's three days now to Burke Town. It's about 250 Ks. So I'll try and break that down into a, to a 90 and then two 70s. If that adds up, I don't even know if it does. So I just wanted to run through some of the food that I'm taking with me or, or the food that I am taking with me got my best friend here some bananas I think there's about 12 bananas so that works out to four bananas a day mostly the bananas I just have on the ride got some oranges as well I think I have another one somewhere and I'll probably pick up a few more bits of fresh fruit a couple of apples um, and that I have three three avocados the other ones in the tent somewhere five five potatoes 
six tins of sardines in olive oil. These are like my all time favorite. I literally drink the olive oil as well for those extra energies. An onion, the honey, picked up some olive oil today as well. That goes nicely with the coconut oil. I've got a zucchini which I very much almost had it. Might cook that up for dinner tonight. I've also got the flour. I'm gonna probably cook up five or six of those sort of pancakey flatbread things tonight as well, which I'll spread out across the next few days. And that's pretty much it. For now, as I said, I might pick up a few more things tomorrow, but there's absolutely no shops, no nothing or anything in between. So I wanted to take this time as well to talk about the rubbish that I've generated so far, which I think's been pretty good. But this little bit here, which came off a pack of batteries, for my head torch which is now broken so i'm spoonless and head torchless which makes meal time at night pretty interesting uh this stuff some some lipsol that i bought as well some nivea sort of uh chapstick i've got this bread bag and i also have another bread bag which is this was the one destined for the bin that the guy gave me and i also had to pick up some toilet roll this is single ply black and gold toilet roll so I'll let you know how that goes that's pretty much it so far it's been a struggle it's hard this weighs a hell of a lot with the water as well it's in these remote towns it's it's cheaper as well all this bananas oranges all this stuff $65 it cost me this olive oil was like $10 Bananas was eight, six dollars a kilo. It was just, it's, it's silly. Silly how expensive things are and also how there's just so little availability. Even in, in one of these shops, I was looking to get some broccoli and the broccoli was completely wrapped in plastic. It's broccoli, it's broccoli. Gotta be quick, they're leaving without me.